Um, you know, we graduated about six seniors from last year, so really bring back a, a lot of our group, and that I think is big for us in terms of uh, continuity and chemistry and what that allows us to do. Um, and it means that we bring back uh, the bulk of our guys that we're looking at. Um, you know, we bring back our, our quarterback for another season, Kyron Fuima Ono. Um, he's a guy who's, who's only gotten better uh, throughout the offseason. He's a really high IQ football player uh, and someone who's really dedicated to not only making himself better, but making teammates better. I um, mean, we bring back guys like uh, Isaiah Sinclair and Michael Menzi on the offensive line for us. And that's actually a, a spot where those two guys have taken a lot of leadership uh, in the offseason, in the weight room. And what's really exciting is this is the first year, at least since I've taken over, that we bring back um, almost, the majority of our offensive line starts. We bring back four guys. And so we're excited for the things that they'll be able to do and kind of the, the steps that they'll be able to take. Um, you know, we bring back our two of our leading receivers last year and Justice Anthony and Lucas Dominguez. Those are two guys who really excel at finding soft spots in coverage uh, and are, are great route runners. And um, then we bring back uh, Jamal Wilson and, and Joel Sanchez in the backfield. And those two guys are just extremely strong, dynamic athletes who we really think are going to make plays in space. You know, we bring back most of our defensive starters as well. I'm really excited for a uh, kid named Michael Keyes. He's been, this will be his third year as a starter for us. Um, he's kind of the leader uh, of our defense. He's played safety, he's played outside backer. Really, he's athletic enough to kind of play wherever we need him to play and wherever we ask him to play. Um, again, you know, Justice Anthony, another guy we bring back defensively for us, who was all conference. Uh, can't, I can't forget to mention Raiderson Dejas. He was a second team all conference defensive end for us. And he's somebody who's bought more into the weight room and being active throughout the summer. So really excited for what he can do this year. Now, uh, you, you, you're back to the conference you were in, and, and it's uh, no pushover. The mid Willamette Conference is going to be, uh, uh, as always, uh, quite, quite the place to compete. Yeah, we're actually, you know, really excited for that. You know, six of the teams, uh, including us last year, were playoff teams. So, um, you know, you're, you're getting quality competition every single week. You know, I think it was looking at our schedule. In the first three weeks, we start with playoff teams this fall. And all that's really going to do is continue to push us to be better and play our best football. Uh, and for us to really um, continue to have success and go farther than the first round in the playoffs, we need to play against that kind of competition throughout the season. So we're really excited for that opportunity. I was talking with some seniors the other day. This senior group is the, the group that were fresh when I started. So now we're kind of in four years of, of similar expectations, messaging. And, and since we have a lot of those guys coming back, they've actually pushed more teammates to come out to workouts over the summer, to camp. And so we've had the strongest numbers for all of our off-season program that we've had since I took over. And that's really translated into a, a great work uh, camp.